I've heard people say, and I agree with them, it's the gem of the area. I, f I feel like I'm up north, you're in the middle of a, of a busy area, and you feel like you're away, you feel like you're up north. Bob Lawson has worked at Spencer Park for 12 years. He says this year was the busiest. We've had a very busy summer. We've broken some records. Memorial Weekend was one of our busiest Memorial Weekends ever. And it was actually one of the busiest days ever in the history of the park. We also broke some records on the 4th of July with the crowds coming out, the amount of rowboats and pedal boats that we've rented. This has been a great year for us. Our staff is wonderful and um, I, it, hopefully it will continue. When you have a busy park with a busy beach, you have a potential for trouble. Bee stings, lost children, various injuries, and an occasional water emergency. So the Spencer Park staff spends a lot of time training for trouble. Lifeguards spend the most of the time learning the techniques that save lives. They've had incidents in the past years, and they've come out on top each time, receiving recognition for doing so. Yeah, they, they'll see the awards, but uh, yeah, it's the training that really gets us there. Um, we've been recognized uh, a couple times for uh, two resuscitations and uh, a couple nice surface rescues. During uh, last year, we had one. Kevin's nice little save of a three-year-old was outstanding, and that's all training. Set down a guard this side, and we're going to go four up. Visitors don't see the training, they come and enjoy the water. That's what we want them to do. Recently, a training exercise was held to test the readiness of the lifeguards, and visitors were notified that it would take place while the beach was opened and active. Signs were posted at entry points to alert park users. Lifeguards were also told of the pending exercise, and they had their eyes wide open, as usual. That boater that we saw earlier, he fell in, and the lifeguards caught it. Now notice, the male lifeguards wear red shorts. So when this runner came onto the scene, it would be safe to assume that he was a lifeguard running the one mile course around the lake. Well, he was in the right place at the right time, wasn't he? So the rescue continues. The lifeguards follow the textbook as they retrieve and resuscitate the victim. It's a valuable training exercise for all involved, but for one small detail. That runner, dressed in red shorts, was actually Nathan Klomp, a Rochester Hills resident out for an afternoon run. He didn't see the signs notifying park visitors of the training exercise. He saw a man splashing about in the water, and he did what comes natural to some people. He got involved. Let's watch that footage again in slow motion. You can see Nathan remove his iPod and immediately head for the water without hesitation. And as you can hear from Fred Carter's post-event debriefing, Nathan did the right thing. How long was he underwater when you got there? Did he? He well, the runner pretty much kept him from going underwater at all. Like his head might have ducked under for a few seconds at a time, but that was about it. Uh, they got me to shore pretty quick when the uh, bystander jumped in, right. which I thought was actually guard myself. Yeah. As I came <laughs> up for air, shorts. I saw the red shorts, and he was. Uh, it kind of looked like he was sneaking up to me, and I thought, oh, they had a ringer in the bushes right. <laughs> and then to find out later it was a bystander because yeah. like, yeah. as he was sneaking after I found out he's a bystander I'm like he was debating whether or not I was acting or not yeah and when he decided yeah, okay, that, he's uh, bystander I think was a great I actually thought he was with I mean I thought that he that was a great reminder of what can happen factor. because no matter you know I thought this thing through pretty Extensively. Oh, we know that for And I never <laughs> thought for a second that we would have a bystander. No. Jumping. Especially yeah. in our red shorts. Yeah. We're, yeah so it was, I thought that was um, really good. Even when told that he had saved a non victim, he was a good sport about it. Oh, he's just running. He just, yeah, I just got let in on the secret. Citizen uh, <laughs> Thanks for the help. No problem. You didn't get a flyer when you came in? No, I didn't. Oh, you came in? I came in through the gate over there. To him, he was just doing the right thing in his community. For this, we recognize Nathan Klomp of Rochester Hills.